六十载风雨兼程，中法领导人北京再聚首。There was a, several long moments of interactions between the two presidents, President Xi Jinping and President Macron, and so they have set an ambitious agenda for the for the relationship. 薪火相传，二零二四巴黎奥运会筹备进行中。It will will mark 100 years after the Olympics were last held in Paris. We will do our best to be on par with the extraordinary 2008 Beijing Olympics opening ceremony event. 风云对话专访法国驻华大使白玉堂。今年三月，法国驻华大使白玉堂抵华履新，在其近三十年的外交生涯中，先后被派往美国、中国、越南工作，并曾担任总理外事顾问。二零二三年四月五日至七日，应国家主席习近平邀请，法国总统马克龙对中国进行国事访问。在华期间，习近平主席同马克龙总统在北京举行会谈。共同规划和引领中法关系未来发展，深化中法、中欧各领域合作，并就重大国际和地区热点问题深入交换意见。随后，中法领导人南下广州举行非正式会晤。Ambassador Lofflery, it's great to meet you. Welcome on Talk with World Leaders. It's great to have you. Thank you so much for your invitation. And thank you so much for having us、uh, at your beautiful residence. No, of course, it's a great pleasure, and we have also very much pleased to have you here today. I think that you are very welcome to our residence. I am very pleased to have you here today. I think that you are very welcome to our residence. I am very pleased to have you here today. I think that you are very welcome to our residence. I am very pleased to have you here today. Um, as the French ambassador since mid-March, how is it going? How does it feel to be back? Well, I have to say first and foremost that it's a great privilege、uh, to serve as a French ambassador to China, particularly、uh, these days. French and China have a long-standing and a deep、uh, friendship,、mm -hmm. and、uh, as a matter of fact,、um, uh, it's also for me personally, yeah, a great privilege in the sense that I've been.、Uh, uh, Loving China for over 30 years, I have lived in China、mm. uh, in, on numerous occasions. I,、mm. My first、uh, trip to China was、uh, when I was、uh, uh, 20 years old. I came here as a student,、mm. uh, so in between, China, China has changed a lot, and um, um, yeah, China is part of my life. So I'm so I feel so happy and honored to serve as ambassador here. Wonderful, welcome back. Thank you so much. What would you say are your priorities during your tenure as French ambassador? Well,、uh, my first priority is definitely to、uh, push forward the agenda uh, that was uh, uh, decided together by our two leaders when they met here、um, uh, early April.、Uh, as you know, President Macron paid a state visit to China between、uh, the fifth and the seventh of April.、Um, uh, there was a Several long moments of interactions between uh, uh, the two presidents,、uh, President Xi Jinping and President Macron, and so they have set a, an ambitious agenda for the for the relationship. So this will be、um, my、uh, my key goal, along with our Chinese、uh, partners, and particularly in the run up of year 2024, which is going to be a very special year、uh, for the relationship between France and China, as it will mark the 60th. Anniversary of、mm. the diplomatic relationship、uh, between France and China. Also, because 2024 is going to be the year of cultural tourism for France and China. Sure. And finally, because of course we will host、uh, the Olympic Games in Paris in the summer of 2024, and you have、uh, the mascot of、uh, our Olympic Games.、So、we are very proud of that. 二零二四年将是中法建交六十周年纪念。近六十年前，法兰西第五共和国的缔造者和首任总统夏尔戴高乐将军，使法国成为第一个同心中国建立大使级外交关系的西方大国。一九六四年初，北京和巴黎同时公布《中法建交联合公报》，在两极世界格局里冒犯美苏两个超级大国，被视为大忌。
近四十余字的建交公报，字字千钧，被国际舆论称为“外交核爆炸”。在即将迎来两国建交六十周年之际，法国总统马克龙时隔三年访问中国，中法共同发表了长达五十一项条款，几乎涵盖所有领域的联合声明。Ambassador, so what do you think of the results of、uh, French President, your President Macron's visit this year? Well, as a matter of fact,、um, first and foremost, President Macron wanted, by coming to China at this、mm. particular time,、uh, to、uh, resume the highest、uh, level dialogue between our two countries.、Mm. Uh, after three years uh, of pandemic、uh, all over the world, of course, our two leaders、uh, had opportunities to uh, uh, exchange and interact during the time of、um, uh, of COVID, but.、Mm. Um, As you would certainly agree,、uh, face-to-face -face meetings are always more meaningful uh, than uh, uh, speaking on the phone.、Uh, sure. Uh, and so this、mm. uh, this was uh, the, uh,、mm. the the key goal、uh, mm -hmm. of our two presidents. So in a nutshell, I think there were mainly four components uh, in uh, and, and four key、uh, results in the visit. The first one was about uh, mm. this. Uh, Uh, discussions that the two leaders had on key、uh, mm. issues of、uh, today's world,、mm. and first and foremost, of course,、uh, Ukraine. Our two countries would definitely want this war to to stop, which requires, of course,、uh, that the fundamental principle of、mm. sovereignty and territorial integrity be respected.、Mm. There was also a, an in-depth discussions as to what our countries、uh, can do and, and will do together when it comes to tackle global challenges such、mm. as global warming or biodiversity.、Mm. We are very committed. France is, China is, and France and China are together very committed to、uh, mm. to to help、mm. uh, alleviating and eventually, hopefully, solving. Uh, mm. These、uh, these issues. There was,、uh, when it comes to biodiversity,、uh, mm -hmm. uh, a very prominent、um, uh, conference held in、uh, China, the Kunming、uh, Conference. Sure.、Um, and、uh, France will host、uh, in 2025、mm. a major um, uh, summit uh, on uh, biodiversity and and the future of our oceans.、Mm. And so、uh, it's only natural、mm. that our countries、uh, would work、uh, ever more together、mm. uh, when it comes to these、uh, these challenges.、Mm. The third aspect was uh, obviously uh, the economic relationship between、uh, France and and China.、Mm. Uh, It's、uh, also very necessary. We say,、mm -hmm. uh, we, in, the, in the way we see it, that uh,、mm. uh, our companies、uh, reconnect or connect even more after、uh, three years of、um, of pandemic, and also、uh, that means that、um, there are very concrete issues that、uh, we need to address together, such as、uh, market access issues, for instance,、uh, and so that、uh, calls for hard work uh, between uh, between our two countries. For us, what is key is that we find ways to、mm -hmm. rebalance、um, uh, the uh, economic and trade、uh, relations between the two、uh, countries,、mm -hmm. and so we will continue to 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 do that in the best、uh, in the best possible spirit. The fourth aspect is about、um, people to people exchanges.、Mm -hmm. uh, we have been missing that a lot、uh, over the past、uh, three years. That is、mm -hmm. uh, the possibility for a Chinese citizen. Uh, mm. To come to France, the possibility for French citizens to come to China,、mm. and、um, I was、uh, talking about this very special bond that we that we have,、mm. uh, and、uh, this is a treasure uh, that、mm -hmm. that、uh, that we cherish on on both sides, and、mm. to nurture that that treasure, we we need、uh, this constant、uh, flux of、mm. uh, people traveling back and forth, be it students, artists.、Um, Uh, researcher, academics,、um, and 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 so medical doctors. So that's a very key、uh, aspect of the of the visit. So this is uh, uh, this is what we are uh, doing uh, between the two countries, uh,、mm. uh, and which are the priorities of the of the let's say the French China engine.、Uh, mm. It's uh, uh, the speed of the engine is is back to 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 what it was. And we are thrilled to see that happening. 春回大地，中法文化合作迎来了又一个春天。早在2002年，中国首个与西方国家互设的文化中心在法国建立
二零零三年至二零零五年，中国首次与外国互办的国家级文化年在法国举办。今年是中法文化年举办二十周年，马克龙访华期间的首站便是抵达了北京红砖美术馆，参加第十七届中法文化之春艺术节揭幕仪式。超过六十五个文化项目在中国落地生根，将在中国二十多个城市展开，涵盖音乐、戏剧、电影以及沉浸式数字创作领域等二百多场交流活动。Uh, let me mention this one other event, uh, which opened during President Macron's visit, uh, the 17th Croissant Festival in Beijing. Uh, how is that going? I mean, that's a very signature um, event, I would say, uh, for French culture and people-to-people -people exchanges. Well, um, I should say um, uh, this uh, Croissant Festival, as we call mm -hmm. it in France, uh, Tiao Liu, um, uh, is uh, a very successful uh, uh, event that we have had in China for uh, now uh, about 20 years. It started right after uh, the culture of France in China and the culture of China in, the, in, in France about, about 20 years ago. And over the years, we have attracted more than, 20, uh, than 15 million visitors to our events uh, mm -hmm. here in, in China. And of course, uh, the, the 2023 uh, edition mm -hmm. is no exception to that. It's mm -hmm. already very successful. Mm -hmm. And also, what, uh, what is a feature of, uh, of this uh, Festival Croisement mm -hmm. is, uh, first of all, uh, the, 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 the wide spectrum of activities that we display in terms mm -hmm. of uh, uh, cultural uh, creation, uh, mm -hmm. music, uh, sculpture, dance, um, uh, exchange of ideas, uh, public debate. Uh, it's uh, across the board. And also the second aspect of it is that um, we want it to be present almost everywhere in China. You mm. know, we of course love Beijing and we have many activities in Beijing, but we want to be able to meet with our Chinese friends virtually mm everywhere on, yes. on, on, on the, the Chinese territory. So um, these are very distinctive um, elements of what we, what we do. And the good news is that uh, over the years, we get more and more uh, people interested in what, what we do uh, together and what we present to the, to the Chinese public uh, through this, um, this uh, festival uh, croisement. Let me just uh, uh, mention um, uh, two uh, events uh, that are ongoing mm -hmm. uh, right now. Uh, one in Shanghai, um, the exhibition of an extraordinary French photographer by the name of uh, Raymond de Pardon. I mention it because I visited last week in, mm -hmm. in Shanghai at PSA Museum. So I could only uh, suggest and recommend to our Chinese friends and particularly our Shanghai friends to visit this, uh, this exhibition. Mm -hmm. We will have in just a few days a Matisse exhibition here uh, in, in, in Beijing. So uh, only great names and great names of French culture uniting France and China. In 1892, the young Bubaidan in the Soban University of Paris published the famous Olympic Declaration, calling for the Olympic Games. The green flag of the Olympic Games was brought to the light. Two years later, 12 countries of the 79 members were in Paris to conduct the Olympic Games in Paris. The first of the Olympic Games was passed. After that, the Olympic Games were held in Paris in the 1900 and 1924. 时隔一个世纪，伴随着更开放奥运概念，奥运会将再次回到现代奥林匹克运动的起点。二零二四年巴黎奥运会将于七月二十六日至八月十一日举行，共包括三十二个大项，设立三百二十九个奖牌项目，超过两百个国家和地区奥委会派对参加。Your Excellency, would you please tell us how the preparation works are going for the 2024 Paris Olympics and Paralympics? Well, work is underway, mm -hmm. and, uh, but we are very much prepared. And not only prepared, but very excited. 
Uh, mm -hmm. In terms of preparation, we uh, built from scratch a number of uh, uh, venues, mm -hmm. uh, 35 of them uh, that are already uh, ready. But also we decided, of course, uh, to use uh, iconic places uh, for a number of competitions. Uh, we want uh, the, 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 the Paris uh, Olympics to be a, a great success, a moment of joy, a moment of friendship uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and also a moment of freedom for the athletes and a message to the world. And so that is why we decided to choose as a symbol of the Paris Olympic Games mm -hmm. uh, this little cap, uh, our little red friend over here, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, uh, would remind very much the French people of, mm -hmm. uh, of the cap uh, that the people uh, were wearing during the time of the French Revolution at the end of the, the, the 18th uh, century. Uh, so I'm very happy to introduce uh, uh, you to our Furiti. Uh, and we have uh, uh, one um, uh, that is uh, for, for the Olympics, one for the Paralympics, mm. because it's very much about uh, inclusion. Sure. So these are two uh, cherished uh, friends uh, of, uh, of the moment. Very nice. One thing I should say also is that um, we prepare the Olympic Games with a particular uh, attention because for us it will, will mark 100 years after mm. the, the, the Olympics were last held uh, in, in Paris. So this is very symbolic uh, for, the, for, the French, uh, for the French people. And also wh what we wanted to do, and uh, I'm uh, referring back to what I was saying before about uh, um, uh, climate change uh, and uh, our common endeavor, which is that um, we uh, wanted and we will do it mm. the first ever Olympics that is going to be carbon neutral. For us, this right. is a very important part of, uh, of uh, what, we, what we want to do. And again, the, the very notion of freedom, freedom in sports, but freedom in general. You know, mm -hmm. Freedom is so much associated to who we are as yes. a people, uh, will be at the heart of uh, uh, mm -hmm. our message um, and, uh, and inclusion uh, also. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, uh, that is going to be a very special moment. And I would certainly hope that uh, very many people uh, who, is, uh, who are the audience of Phoenix TV will be following the Paris Olympics uh, events uh, with your eyes, so to speak. It's a great pleasure. Well, uh, we read a lot in the press. There are a lot of surprises uh, from the coming Paris Olympics and Paralympics. For example, for the opening ceremony next year, what we read is that uh, it's not going to be in the stadium for the first time in history and Paris is really breaking the grounds in sports competition. Would you please tell us more about that? That is exactly right. As a matter of fact, um, uh, uh, we decided that uh, indeed we would bring uh, the Olympic Games right mm. to the heart uh, uh, of the city. And um, we had in the past quite extraordinary, of course, uh, opening right. ceremonies in stadiums. I was mm -hmm. myself present in Beijing within the bird's nest uh, for yes. the 2008 uh, Beijing Olympics uh, uh, opening ceremony and have a vivid uh, memory of, mm -hmm. uh, of that uh, particular evening. But we decided that we would do it uh, differently. You know, we uh, sometimes uh, in France uh, like to do things in a slightly different way. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is really to um, uh, make sure that uh, uh, the, 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 the largest possible number of people can, can attend this uh, uh, quite extraordinary event. So it will be held on the Seine. Mm -hmm. uh, the delegations will be, uh, the, sp the, the, the athletes will be on boats and so this is going to be a very, a very particular moment. I'm not going to tell you all about it uh, because of course su surprise should be, should be part of it mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we will do our best uh, to be on par with the extraordinary uh, 2008 uh, Beijing Op Olympics um, uh, opening ceremony uh, event. 法国政府近期采取一系列措施加速推进再工业化 Ambassador, we know Choose France Summit held its sixth edition in mid-May, attracting some 200 business leaders. 
from around the world who come to explore opportunities for investment in France. Would you please introduce to us, uh, our Chinese audience, the summit? Well, Choose France is um, a, an initiative that was taken by uh, President Macron mm. uh, just a few months after he was elected. The first edition of Choose France took place in 2018 in mm. France. It's always taking place at the Chateau de Versailles. And the whole purpose of, uh, of this initiative and of these um, mm. uh, summits, uh, annual summits, um, is to first and, and foremost display uh, mm. to uh, key investors from mm. around the world the opportunities of investment in France. That is to say, mm. uh, what France has to offer uh, to foreign investors. Of course, uh, you know, the geographic location of France is certainly one asset for us because uh, we are right at the heart of, of Europe uh, with, uh, you know, this gigantic uh, market, uh, which is the one of the European Union. Mm. We also uh, have a very vibrant and skilled um, uh, workforce and we have also uh, a very uh, strong uh, pace of reform uh, going on uh, that make uh, uh, the investment uh, uh, opportunities ever better uh, for, uh, for foreign uh, companies. So um, uh, that is all about uh, showcasing and displaying uh, these, uh, these aspects of uh, France's uh, attractiveness and also work in very concrete uh, ways mm. on um, uh, particular uh, key uh, projects uh, of mm. uh, investment um, uh, in France. Mm. And um, I have to say that it works. It works in a very concrete way mm -hmm. because ever since Choose France started in 2018, we, France, became the most attractive country uh, in, in, in Europe for uh, foreign uh, investment. Mm -hmm. And uh, China is part of that success in the sense that uh, mm -hmm. we have uh, welcomed uh, a number of uh, investment uh, on, on the part of, uh, of Chinese uh, companies in different, uh, in different areas. Companies that uh, uh, contribute to the dynamism of uh, French economy that mm. create jobs uh, in, mm. in France. And so I would like uh, uh, to, to, to mention one example that took place uh, yes, um, uh, during, uh, during Truth France uh, 2023. We uh, uh, announced uh, uh, during the, the summit Truth France uh, that uh, uh, the, uh, there is going to be a major project in the field of uh, um, um, uh, battery um, for vehicles mm. uh, that is going to be built uh, in, in the northern part of, uh, of, of France on the part of uh, a Chinese company uh, which is uh, XTC. Uh, along with a mm -hmm. French major company as well, Orano. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a 1.5 billion uh, euros investment uh, mm -hmm. project. And so uh, we, our companies mm -hmm. in that particular case, invest uh, in the future because mm -hmm. of course electronic vehicles and batteries are the future mm -hmm. of mobility for, for, the, for the entire world. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm uh, very happy to, 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 to say and, and share that uh, mm -hmm. uh, nowadays China is uh, the number one uh, uh, country in Asia uh, mm -hmm. investing in France and we certainly welcome more uh, investment on the part of our uh, Chinese friends uh, through, uh, through their uh, companies. All of which you mentioned I think are part of the reindustrialization process uh, which I think France is now paying a lot of attention, um, giving a lot of focus to. How does um, Choose France play a role in this process? Choose France is definitely part of uh, this uh, uh, engine of mm -hmm. uh, reindustrialization that we want to see uh, happening ever more uh, in France. France as a nation uh, uh, is known uh, by consumers around the world uh, for uh, top level um, uh, consumption products when it comes to luxury products, uh, mm. cosmetics, uh, agro food uh, products, uh, uh, also for uh, mm. top level uh, high technology products when it comes to planes with uh, Airbus uh, uh, and trains and uh, nuclear uh, green uh, energy. Uh, so that's, uh, that's, that's part of, uh, of who we are, uh, but, uh, but we want more, that is to say that we want to continue to be at the forefront and yes. so innovation is the key. Uh, we will continue to invest ever more in innovation. We will do it 
on a national basis, we will do it with our EU partners. This is a common endeavor on the part of EU countries. Uh, and we want to do it with our mm. key partners, and China is certainly uh, one of them and mm. on top of the list. Okay, well, thank you so much, Ambassador, for your participation in this uh, dialogue program, Talk with World Leaders. It's great to have you with us. That sums up all my questions for today. Thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you to your team. Thank you.